Hello, I'm Dave Whipple, EFCO Field Operations Manager, and this is another Toolbox Safety Talk on the proper sequence for releasing loads on elevated concrete. Once the concrete has reached the desired strength and it's time to begin the stripping process, you want to be sure you start in the right location. By design, concrete will deflect or sag depending on the thickness and the distance between the columns or the beams or the walls that are designed to support it. If you start at the outer edges where the columns and beams or walls are designed to support the slab and work toward the center, what you're doing is transferring the load to the posts that are moving toward the middle of the slab. This could make it more difficult to strip the posts that are in the center, but also cause an overload situation on the very last post that you're taking out. Once the elevated concrete has reached the required strength and it's time to begin the stripping process, the EFCO deck has a built-in feature we call the load release pin. This load release pin has two holes drilled in it, one to keep it in position for the concrete pour and the next to allow us for a quarter inch strip of relief. You simply move the pin from the inside to the outside hole and strike it with a hammer and it drops the post down a quarter of an inch making it easier to move the sleeve nut here for adjustment and stripping purposes. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions concerning EFCO equipment, contact an EFCO field supervisor.